Hi, welcome to 8th Grade Math. I'm Mrs. Courtney. It's nice to meet you. I wish I wasn't sitting here virtually saying my hellos to you, but this will have to do. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been with the district for five years. I was a math specialist before uh, being asked to come up to 8th grade and to help with this crazy COVID year. And, um, and I'm so happy that I did because your 8th grade students are just awesome. Um, there's my background, um, been in education forever, and I love teaching math. Um, just a little quick background on me. I am married and live with my three kids and my husband and our COVID puppy in Daughters Grove um, and just having the best COVID life that we can. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the D105 website is always a great place to start to look for any information, but being that you guys are parents of eighth graders, you already know that. Um, here is my classroom, a quick picture, just uh, to give you a, a bird's eye view of what's going on in the room. The kids have their desk shields, we spray the desks down, they're spread out, they are doing amazing. Um, I share my smart board with the students at home, as well as the students, of course, sitting in the classroom. And so we are working together, whether it's via Zoom on those off days or in front of me um, in our school days. So we are definitely getting a lot of good work done. Um, there is my mission control. As you can see, when your kids are home, they're zooming in for the math lesson. Uh, we are sharing notes on the smart board together. And then they are also able to ask the questions and listen to all of the, um, the lessons as they are live in the classroom. So your students are in LT math. So I know this is a, a very fun year, a very exciting and fast year for them as they're beginning their high school math journey. Um, if you take a look here, we talk about that LT pacing, that it is um, a very different rigor than what they have seen in the past. Um, we do give assessments over two days. You'll notice that we took out the no calculator calculator parts. They can use calculators for everything, and we've added 20 minutes to those tests. Um, the students are also going to be taking a mid-test, a midterm test, and a final exam. Those are going to help with the overall application for where they're going to land next year with their geometry, whether it's accelerated or honors. Um, but more on that later, later in the year. Um, we also will have a map uh, assessment coming up as well as their performance in class. Looking at all of those different criteria will help us to determine the best placement for your child later on down the road. Uh, here you have just the flow chart that LT uses as they go through their math uh, courses at the different levels. Uh, the, the banner below is hyperlinked, so you're able to go into the math district um, site at LT if you want to do further reading and research. For us this year, we're using Google Classroom as our catch everything. So when your kids are in the Google Classroom, they are able to go to that weekly overview to find all their assignments, to find all their answers. Um, that weekly overview is updated every Sunday or Saturday the week prior or the weekend before with um, everything that they're going to need to be successful in algebra that week. I also offer office hours and academic support on Wednesdays, and the students can also reach out to me at other times as needed to get any additional help that they might need. A quick plug for PowerSchool. I'm sure everyone's already having that app on your phone or your child has that app on the phone, so they're able to just keep up um, to date with assignments, what they have or what they might be missing. There is our textbook, our Algebra 1. We are also using the TI-84 this year. That will be with them for the rest of their high school career in mathematics. Uh, we'll be getting into programming this later on after a few more units. It's always good to have them start with um, doing all of their linear equations and everything else, graphing by hand, and then we'll go ahead and graph on those calculators. Um, I do have a big focus on getting kids to critically think about connections with the math concepts, making sure they're good problem solvers, and uh, making sure that they're able to explain their thinking. So. That is kind of the focus on top of just that big Algebra 1 push this year. How can you help your student at home? 
have them read the book. Number one, a lot of kids look at the math book and think it's only problems. So make sure that they are reading the book, going back, looking at examples, different situations, reading through it more than once if needed. Um, help them with perseverance. Let them know like, it's okay if you don't understand this. What could you do? How could you attack that problem differently? Step away, come back to the homework. Um, they should be working at least about an hour a night on their math homework. Uh, but not to leave answers blank. Make sure that they're trying it. Even if it's wrong, that's okay, right? As long as they're trying it, that learning is going to continue into the classroom and we can begin to look at, at the solution together. Our grades are broken down as a set here. 60% is their unit tests, 25% are the quizzes, and 15% homework. We do not do Alex this year. Uh, map testing is coming later in the, um, in the fall. We don't have uh, approximate time yet on that. So thank you so much for taking the time to look at this. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, let me know what your thoughts are, and I'm more than happy to talk with you at any time. Thanks so much.